Hello Year 10. In today's lesson you're going to be looking at the causes and consequences of the Knight of the Long Nine. Before you complete the lesson you need to complete the knowledge quiz using the Google form attached. Pause the video and complete that now. In the last lesson you learned about how Hitler managed to secure power through various events during 1933 to 1934. Most of these events involved Hitler trying to remove opposition. However, there is one further event that you need to look at into a little more detail, the Night of the Long Nights. When Hitler became Chancellor, he was in a very weak position. Franz von Papen had helped him into power and President Hindenburg could sack him at any time. One key thing that helped Hitler was the SA, the Nazis' own army, who were led by Ernst Röhm, who is the man in the picture. Through 1933, Röhm and the SA helped Hitler to remove political opponents and establish a dictatorship. But Röhm became a threat to Hitler. Rome was a natural rebel who missed army life. Rome wanted to change Germany and take power away from the German elite. Hitler did not agree. The SA had three million members and Rome was probably the second most powerful man in the Nazi movement. But this did not stop Hitler ruthlessly killing him on the night of the Long Knives. During the night of the 29th of June 1934, Hitler flew to Munich and arrested Rome. He was accused of plotting to overthrow Hitler. When he refused to commit suicide, he was shot. Other SA leaders were taken by surprise at a lakeside hotel. They were dragged from their beds by members of the SS, taken to Nazi headquarters and executed. These events are called the Night of the Long Knives. So the first question you need to deal with is why did Hitler turn on Rome and the SA? Group the list of causes of the Night of the Long Knives into three categories below. Type each letter into the column on the, on the right to show which category you think it fits into. So you've got three categories to choose from. Each point could either be threats to Hitler's position, rivalry among Nazi leaders, or the role of the army. So for example, line one we would class C as the SA were beginning to challenge the role of the army. On the Google Talk, you just need to type C into the box. It may be that you think some of the causes could fit into two categories. That's fine, just put in two letters. For each of the groups, you're going to write a paragraph to explain each of the reasons why Hitler carried out the Night of the Long Knives. Your paragraph should be about six to eight sentences long and use the information from the table. Use the sentence starters to help you structure your answer. So for example, for this one, we've got a clear point at the start. One reason Hitler carried out the Night of the Long Knives were the threats to his position. This was cause A that you looked at in your table. You've then got some sentence starters that you need to complete using the information from the table. So pause the video and complete that now. Now that you've completed all three paragraphs on each of the different ideas, you need to write a paragraph conclusion explaining which reason was the most important cause of the night of the long night. Remember, this is your opinion, so there's no right or wrong answer. We just want to see what you think and how you justify yourself. Pause the video and complete that now. Now you're going to have a look at a source that throws the British opinion of the Night of the Long Knives. This cartoon was published at the time the event took place in the Evening Standard by a famous British cartoonist called David Lowe. Let's have a look at some of the key parts. Over here, we can see the SA. They are stood with their arms up as if they are surrendering. This is to show that they are giving into Hitler's power. We can see Hitler stood at the front 
with a smoking gun in his hand. This is to imply that he is responsible for the death of the leaders of the SA. We can see these dead men lying on the ground at the front. We can assume that one of these is meant to be Ernst Rohn. Next to Hitler, we can see Goebbels and Goering. Goebbels is on all fours to depict him like a dog who is there to serve Hitler and do everything that he wants. Goering is dressed like an ancient Germanic warrior, helping Hitler to threaten the SA. On the right hand side, we can just about make out the German army marching into view. This is to represent Hitler's support for them over the SA. The title refers to the Nazi salute, which is with one arm. The title is trying to show that the SA are surrendering and they are now totally in fear of Hitler and his power. Now that I've taken you through the cartoon, look at the cartoon on the Google Doc and answer the questions that surround the cartoon. We now need to do a little bit more analysis of the cartoon. In the table on the left hand side, it explains what the consequences of the Night of the Long Knives were. You need to think about the cartoon and decide if the cartoon shows these consequences. So once you've made your choice, yes or no, you need to explain how the cartoon shows this. What can you see happen in the cartoon that shows each of the consequences? So pause the video and complete that now. OK, well done Year 10 for today's work. This is your last task. So for this last task, I want you to write one paragraph using the information in the table to explain how you think the Night of the Long Knives helped Hitler to secure his power over Germany. So again, this should be roughly six to eight sentences on the Google Doc of your last task. No exit ticket today. That's it. Thank you very much.